On that inevitable day when our robotic overlords rise up and subjugate us, we can take some comfort knowing that we kinda had it coming. For decades now, we've been forcing innocent computers to create an endless stream of citations. It's all because of library databases, which auto-generate citations for every one of the millions of documents they contain, and in more citation styles than any rational person needs. However, like all technology, it's not perfect, and there are some limitations you should know about. For starters, every library database handles its citation function differently, with differing buttons and locations. It might be in the main list of results, like this, off to the side of the item record, like this, or somewhere else entirely. So if you don't see a citation function right away, keep looking, or ask a librarian. And in the same way that robots always seem to rebel against their creators, database citation functions often go just a little bit wrong. Like this. Out of these three database-generated APA citations, one is perfect and two contain errors. This one has an improperly capitalized title. APA requires titles to be capitalized like a sentence, with only the first word and proper nouns capitalized. And this one has the author's name in all caps, which is not a normal way people write their names, silly robot. Little errors like these can crop up in any part of the citation, and a basic knowledge of your citation style can help you catch and correct them. I know, memorizing citation styles isn't exciting, but you don't need to know every bit by heart. You just need to be familiar enough with it so you can recognize when things don't look quite right. And you can learn more about APA, MLA, and other citation styles using our libguides, which are in the Research drop-down menu under Citing Sources. Now let's talk about copying and pasting database citations into your paper. First, highlight and copy the citation. Open Microsoft Word, but don't just paste away. Right-click, and under Paste Options, select Merge Formatting. That'll paste the citation into your document and retain the italics while stripping away any effects the database might have been using on its text, like funky highlighting or colors. Database citation robots make mistakes, often related to capitalization, and this one is no different. In titles, APA requires the first word after a colon to be capitalized, which the robot missed. Okay, now we need to fix the formatting. Citations in APA, and MLA for that matter, need to be double-spaced with a half-inch hanging indent. In the home ribbon, in the paragraph area, there's a little bracket with an arrow at the lower right edge. Highlight your citations and click that bracket. In the indentation section, click into Special and select Hanging, and confirm the default is set to half an inch. Then in the spacing area, under Line Spacing, select Double and click OK. Lovely! Oh, and one last thing. Most citation styles ask for citations to be organized alphabetically, which I find tedious. So let's have the robot do it for us, shall we? Select all of your citations again, and up in the paragraph area, find the icon with an A over a Z next to an arrow. You don't need to change any settings here, so just click OK and BAM! Alphabetical brilliance! Citation isn't the easiest thing, so librarians and writing tutors are here to help. If you have any questions or would like some assistance, ask us and we'll take care of you.